the Kentucky Department of Education, we're always pleased to offer guidance and support around the implementation of our Kentucky academic standards. And today we're going to take a deeper dive into our standards. We're going to look at two uh, content areas a little more closely and look at some professional learning supports that are available. First of all, as always, we'll go to kystandards.org where you can find all of these um, standards resources and you just click on that icon of standards resources and there you'll find both general and content area resources. Today we're going to focus on social studies and science resources so you can see those two um, icons that are highlighted there. Once you go into the social studies icon, you'll see all of the things that are available and this is highlighting where the professional learning modules can be found. Same is true for science. If you click on those, it also has science professional learning modules. So you can get a, a look at what those, where you might find those. So let's dig into social studies for a mo moment. We're going to take a look at two social studies modules that could be very helpful for you as you are taking that deeper dive into the standards. The first is inquiry ready module and the second is healthy integration. Now, if you're thinking about using the inquiry ready module, this is what you could experience. So this is going to help teachers and, and anyone that goes through this really to focus on inquiry and how inquiry relates to equity, action and literacy. It helps teachers to become really clear about this practice of inquiry and it helps us to develop it by using this IDM or this inquiry design model. It also helps us to give a closer look at using inquiry at all of the levels such as elementary, middle and high school. Now for the healthy integration module, this one deals with building capacity to integrate two different discipline areas. And I love this as a former English teacher, that it really focuses on the CASR social studies and the CASR reading and writing and how to do a healthy integration there while also maintaining those discipline integrities. It also helps teachers to discover the connections between these two sets of standards and how we can use that to teach social studies but also to grow these proficient readers and writers and explore examples of healthy integration in these two um, disciplines using the standards supports. And now let's look at what's available to take a deeper dive into the science standards. And as you can see, there are four that we would like to highlight today. The first is the phenomena for instruction module, and this one really is focusing on explaining what is the role of phenomena in our classrooms. It's going to help you to identify phenomena that are related to a bundle of performance expectations. So how you can bundle some of your standards together and pick a related phenomenon to really build understanding, as well as it's going to help the participants experience how they can introduce phenomena at the end or at the beginning of a unit to really launch a um, student driven questions that's going to help Help guide that in the classroom. We also have the three dimensional task module. As you know, there are three dimensions to each of the science standards. So this is really looking at how you design tasks around those three dimensions. So it's going to focus on building a shared understanding of the criteria for designing three dimensional tasks, and then participants are going to utilize that criteria to both evaluate existing tasks that they might have, as well as to develop new tasks. The social justice and equity module, it's really going to explore the equity or equity dimensions of sense making um, really through the lens of the science and engineering practices, and it's going to help the participants to uh, learn to see different ways that students can um, contribute to making sense of phenomena, like bringing their background um, uh, knowledge that they have to the table to really connect to the science that they are um, learning, as well as it's going to help the participants to make applications around this idea of social justice and equity to their own classroom instruction in a way that's really going to support diverse sense making for our students. And then finally, we have the literacy versus literacy webinar. So this is a recorded webinar that includes a detailed discussion about the role of the science and engineering practices, as well as the cross cutting concepts in literacy and science discussion. So really being able to talk about that in the classroom and to help support your understanding of that, it's going to include two classroom video examples, as well as built in questions that um, PLCs can stop and talk about to really process the learning from that webinar. So again, all of those are located at KY Standards, always under the professional learning modules. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send those to standards at ky.gov. And thank you for your time today.